Hello guys, today I am going to tell you some interesting aspects about the way of the cross. As in Matthew chapter 16 verse 24, Jesus says, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. The same verse is repeated in Luke chapter 14 verse 27. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. The way of the cross is the path that Jesus took to Calvary. It shows the various events that took place on his journey to Calvary. These events are represented as the stations and so it is called the stations of the cross. Stations are the places where people usually stop. Today we see the way of the cross in several churches. We can even do it in our homes. This devotional way of worship started soon after the resurrection of Jesus where people from many parts of the world came to follow the path Jesus took on his journey to Calvary. It is also known as the Via Dolorosa, however it did not get this name until the 16th century. This form of worship is said to have been started by the Franciscan missionaries and is believed to have been undergone several modifications. During this Lenten season, we will reflect on the 14 stations of the cross in the upcoming videos.